While money might not be able to buy happiness from the store, wealth building certainly has an impact that we can't ignore. When people want more time with their kids and are looking to unlock more freedom, they often turn to financial independence. You've probably already heard of the traditional FIRE movement, right? Now it's time to learn more about something that might be even better, Coast Fire. While I embraced the early retirement movement initially, we've settled on something a little different for our family. Coast Fire still offers the financial independence independence we craved, it's also allowing us to enjoy ourselves more fully now. In this video, I'll share why Coast Fire is better than traditional fire, at least for our family. Hey everyone, this is Andy Hill from Marriage, Kids, and Money, a channel dedicated to helping you strengthen your family tree so you can live financially free. If you like what you hear today, please give me the YouTube triple thanks that's hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, and then commenting something about the fire movement, while well, it's traditional fire or coast fire, whatever fire you like, down below. Thank you so much. Okay, what is coast fire? Well, coast fire is a type of financial independence. It is the point when you've saved enough in your retirement accounts that you can coast into retirement. You don't have to make more contributions to your account if you don't want to. Instead, you can let time and compounding do their magic. That means that once you hit your Coast Fire number, you only have to cover your current life expenses. You no longer have to put aside any money for retirement. So that means that Coast Fire gives you the opportunity to tackle other financial goals in your life, or grow your wealth in other ways, or downshift into something else. Maybe that's part-time work or starting your own business, becoming an entrepreneur, or maybe it's a different type of work that feels more fulfilling with less of a focus on pulling in a big income or clocking a ton of hours. No matter how you look at it, Coast Fire spells flexibility and it spells freedom. Here's why we like Coast Fire more than traditional fire. Most people stumbled onto the concept of financial independence when they are looking for more freedom, right? Maybe they're spending too many hours away from their kids or they're coming home feeling burnt out. That's not unlike where I was when I discovered fire. I had a job I was not thrilled about. I was away from my family more than I liked and fire felt like a way out for me. Depending on your income, traditional fire requires an intensity that can feel extreme. And for a while, I was motivated to get there as fast as I could no matter the cost. Saving and investing 50% or more of our income for years was definitely financially effective, but that did cause a lot more money fights in my marriage. My wife and I had some major disagreements on how much we were saving versus how much we were enjoying our lives today. Ultimately, through time, marriage counseling, and some marital compromise, I realized that changing career paths could make a major impact on my happiness. So that's what I did, and my wife did as well. With a paid off mortgage and a bunch of FU money, we transitioned out of our careers that we didn't enjoy, but it did require us to drop our income significantly. But since we were saving and investing so much, it wasn't that difficult, really. Today, we work part-time in jobs we actually do enjoy. Our happiness levels have increased dramatically. And now that desire for fire, it's faded considerably. Retire early? For what? From what? But there was still one financial to-do that still loomed largest, taking care of our retirement in our 60s and beyond. With all that fire-motivated investing we were doing, we realized that we had already achieved Coast Fire at 40 years old with $550,000 stocked away. Coast Fire offers that security that I was looking for with the added bonus of ticking a task off of your to-do list. Ultimately, becoming Coast Fire allows us to use money as a tool to reduce stress and anxiety. Saving 50% of our income was causing stress instead of reducing it. So Coast Fire feels like a healthy compromise for our family. We unlocked more freedom within our budget while still securing our financial future. Of course, this works for us because we want to continue working in some capacity. Personally, I enjoy working and my wife does too. We thrive off of opportunities to help people. If we didn't feel this way about work, it would likely tip the scales toward traditional fire instead. Now let's talk about how to calculate a Coast Fire number. Here's how you can see how close you are to coasting into retirement in six easy steps. 
Step one, determine what it costs for you to live comfortably. Virtually all of us know how much money we make, right? Your salary, your last paycheck amount, your income when you file taxes. If you can't recall these numbers from memory or at least ballpark them, you can quickly access them, right? Additionally, if you've been pursuing financial independence for any amount of time, you're already probably pretty dialed into how much you save and how much you invest. But where many of us struggle is actually the most important part of calculating your Coast Fire number. You need to know how much money you spend each year. Identifying this number likely means that you need to take a deep dive into your spreadsheet, your spending tracker, or your favorite budget app, whatever you use. After you identify how much you spent this past month, multiply by 12 to give yourself a basic estimate. Step two, fine tune your targeted spending amount. You have an estimate of what you spend from step one, right? Now it's time to really assess that number to see how accurate it is. Ask yourself if you're looking at what it costs to survive or if you've calculated an amount that you can live on comfortably. Those can be two very, very different amounts. If the month you looked at in step one included a no spend challenge or really purposeful frugal living, ask yourself yourself if you can see yourself repeating that forever. The opposite is also true. If the month in step one was an incredibly costly one, maybe your estimate is going to be on the high side. When we calculate our targeted spending amount, we make sure to include household expenses and costs related to having our kids. We also include vacations and giving generously. Basically, we make sure that our targeted annual spending amount allows us to spend money on all the things that matter to us. That puts us somewhere between $60,000 and $80,000 per year based on our family makeup, where we live, the cost of living, and other considerations specific to us. Your number? might be lower. It could be also quite higher. The important thing is to identify a number that reflects a comfortable spending amount for you personally. Step three, decide when you intend to retire. After you figure out a best guess for what you'll spend each month and then fine tune that amount, you need to figure out when your retirement will actually start. If you ask five people what traditional retirement age means, you'll likely get five different answers. So ask yourself, do you plan to retire at 65? Maybe you wanna hang in there until you're 67. Perhaps 59 and a half, that early number sounds good to you. Whatever number you decide upon, subtract your age from that number. You need it for what comes next. Step four, explore the power of compound interest. By identifying your target retirement age, you can then calculate the length of time your money has to grow with some very basic subtraction. Subtract your current age from your target retirement age. That's how long compound interest has to work its magic on your money. Use a compound interest calculator like the one we've got on investor.gov to see how much your retirement accounts will be worth after the length of time you just calculated. For example, maybe you have $500,000 in all of your retirement accounts. If you have 15 more years until you plan to retire, you can input those figures into a calculator to see what your accounts might actually be worth. Step five, use the 4% rule to see how close you are to Coast with the compound interest calculation. The 4% rule is one way to estimate how much you can spend each year in retirement. Let's return to our scenario from earlier. Someone with $500,000 in their retirement accounts will have over $1.37 million in their portfolio after 15 years, assuming a 7% interest rate accounting for inflation. The 4% rule says that they can spend 4% of the total each year in retirement. 4% of 1.37 million means that you could spend about $54,000 each year. If $54,000 is close to your comfortable spending amount from steps one and two, congratulations. It's time for a victory lap, my friend. You are Coast Fire. Step six, adjust to your comfort level. There are a few different areas of your Coast Fire number that you might consider tweaking. You can adjust the interest rate you use to estimate how much your portfolio will be worth. For example, some people use an aggressive rate of return of about 10%. After all, that's the average return for the stock market. However, other people take a more cautious approach by putting in a 5% or 6% interest rate. We personally use 7% after considering what the stock market average returns are with dividends reinvested and then adjust adjusting for average inflation rate over time. You can also end up adjusting the way you calculate how much you can spend each year in retirement. 
The 4% rule has long been the gold standard in the fire crowd. However, many people are more comfortable using 3.5% or 3%. This is just one more way that personal finance is personal. You want your Coast Fire calculations to reflect your risk tolerance. So make sure to adjust your numbers accordingly. In the end, Coast Fire is the financial freedom that our family wanted and needed. We no longer have to worry about saving for retirement, and that's a great thing. Instead, we can focus on designing a lifestyle that suits us right now. If you're looking for flexibility and financial freedom without leaving the workforce entirely, Coast Fire might fit better into your family financial plan. You'll find yourself presented with more choices and more time to say yes to more of the things that you wanna do. Whether that's growing wealth through entrepreneurship or soaking up more time together as a family, Coast Fire could be the key to designing a life that you love. Well, enough from my side, everyone. I wanna hear from you. Are you on Team Coast Fire or Team Traditional Fire? How are you pursuing financial independence as a family in your own unique way? Please let us know in the comments below. This is Andy Hill from Marriage, Kids, and Money signing off. Carpe diem.